Good morning, lovelies. Happy Monday. How's everyone doing on this fabulous Monday? I'm in desperate need of all of the coffee. I just was not tired last night. I was up really late, at least for me. I was up early at the crack of dawn. It was a hair washing day. <laughs> but it always takes longer. <laughs> I can't decide. I'm in a hurry today. But I kind of want to do another pride look. Because we only have two more uh, days in June, right? Monday, Tuesday, because Wednesday is July. Um, so maybe I will figure it out. Hmm. It can be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Yeah, why not? We'll just be, I'll just be quick. I'll just be quick, yeah, right. Okay, so I already have my uh, VFX Pro primer on, and that's dried. And I've already put my time locker spray on, and that's dried. So what that helps do is, um, well, mattify and minimize your pores, and the time locker spray helps keep your foundation from setting into your pores. It's usually supposed to be used for like after the fact, but it's a little trick I learned, and it seems to work. So now I just grabbed two drops of my VX, VFX Pro Camera Ready Foundation, and I just kind of dab it on to evenly spread it. And we're gonna blendy blend. Now that that is on, I'm going to grab my stick contour, the creamy one. We're gonna quickly do a contour of the face and the nose. And the jawline. Um, so how was everyone's weekend? Did we have fun? Um, I was at the lake this weekend with my dad, my uncle Tom, and Shelly, and we um, had some work to do on the dock we put in last year. We need to put like these extender poles on it since it's a floaty dock. Um, when the water gets really high, it could like, and they float away. So, dad, Shelly, and I were working on that. Dad can't get in the water um, because he's had two different uh, things of skin cancer removed got this massive uh, incision on his back that's still healing and then a big one on his arm so Shelly and I were in the water just being badass girls and um, you know drilling stuff and bolting stuff we were pretty amazing if I do say so myself um, but we got a, a few of those done they're really not easy to do it's like once it's in it's like oof. um yeah, I um, finally, after 35 plus years, um, learned how to independently fish. So what I was doing this weekend um, was using a rag to, t to grab the fish because I don't like touching fish, they're ugh, gross. And I don't like touching worms, they're also disgusting. So um, I uh, was using pliers to put the worms on the hook. Yeah, it only took me 35 years to figure that out. So that's like a fishing machine. I think I caught a total of 10. Lots of little um, little baby bluegills and a couple nice sized bass. But let me tell you, on Sunday, those little baby bluegills were being real a-holes. Why? Because they just kept stealing my worms and not getting caught. I only caught two. I caught two of those little boogers. And then my dad's sitting there next to me with this like, um, I don't know, neon green lure thing um, that bass love. And he catches two really good sized bass in a row, just from like under the dock. So I'm getting really frustrated with the worms, right? And I'm like, fine, I'm gonna use uh, just a lure. So I grab this like salamander one. The package is like, bass love these. No, not, not, even, a, not even a nibble. So then dad is like, well, I'm done. I'm gonna go do something, use mine. So I'm using his for like another hour. And I'm just like, nothing. Not a, not a thing. So, anyway, fishing is a lot of fun. I was able to buy my fishing license online while I was down there because now I super dig 
fishing and I'm probably gonna keep doing it. I think when I go down next, I'm going to um, maybe bring some like, like, like latex gloves or something so that I can just like touch the worms with my fingers. I mean, in the gloves, clearly. Um, and like the fish and stuff, but yeah, that's my plan. I'm just super excited because fishing's fun. I used to always find it so boring when I was little that and I could never do it independently. Like I would sit down on the dock for hours by myself and then just start screaming when I'd catch one, dad, dad, dad. And he'd be like working on something, like come running, like, oh my God, who's bleeding? And then he'd just be like, Ugh. and he'd come down and take the fish off for me. Like, will you learn to do this yourself? No. So, all right. Uh, I set my face with some powder, I put some blush on. I'm going to put a eye primer on. We're gonna do a pride look. So yeah, fishing is fun. I was thinking that I was going to have to like go up to Osceola to get my license because technically in Iowa, if you're over the age of 16, um, you have to have a fishing permit on your persons when you're fishing. Um, listen, if I'm at the lake and I'm sitting on the dock, no, I'm not gonna have it on my persons. It will be in my house, thank you. Um, but anywho, so now that I like it a lot, I've decided I'm, I bought one. Um, you can do it online. Like you can go into stores and do it, but you can also do it online, um, which is awesome and super easy. Um, which yeah, that's what I did. I just found this little corner pocket of reception down there and was like bing, bang, boom. My bing, bang, boom, it took like 10 minutes because there's no reception, but yeah, we got it handled. Okay, so we're gonna do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So I need to grab the pineapple pigment. I'm going to grab the violet pigment. I'm going to grab the blue that, oops, oops and out. And I just got the forest. Ta-da! <laughs> I was thinking it was in the other room, but no, it was right there. Okay, I, come on. I just got the forest pigment. Boom. Okay, so red. Oh, I just don't have like a, a pharmacy orange. Because it'd be fun to use all pharmacy. What if the, and then of course the glisten um, sparkle. What if I use the Moroccan pigment? That looks orange, right? it's gonna be okay so here we go friends so I'm using the um, vintage uh... ooh no I could use orange pop that is orange okay here we go orange pop boom okay but Morocco is pretty much the same color no I'm just gonna use Morocco you're welcome that you got to experience that okay um so we're gonna grab vintage season palette we're gonna grab a fluffy brush and we're gonna put those down because we're going to grab my uh sponge oh i forgot to put concealer on mm. that's how well my face was covered by my foundation whatever you know it is what it is we're we're, we're too far past going back now so it just is what it is um, okay, so what I did there, if you're just, you know, new to tuning in, you grab your translucent setting powder, the straight edge of your sponge, you dip it into the powder, and then you just follow the lower lash line up, and you're basically making what I call in a, dry, a draw between the lines. So it's just a guide so that it catches the fallout, and then your, your eyeshadow doesn't end up going below basically this line, um, because when it does that, it tends to look droopy. So, uh, 05 Vintage Season Palette, we're grabbing that red color and a fluffy brush, and we're just going to start creating something wonderful. Red, orange, yellow, okay. I always have to remind myself. I might be very mildly OCD only about certain things. Like I always, when the dogs are out about, I always count them, like, where did you go? And um, clearly when I do pride makeup, I have to say the color's 500,000 times. Whatever, we all have our things, right? 
Okay, so that's my beautiful red. Now I'm going to grab the sister brush, the exact same fluffy one, just not the one I used, because it's dirty. And I'm going to, I should have opened these to begin with, try and get this pineapple pigment open. Nailed it. Okay. And clean off my fingers that are now red, orange. No, see, it's gonna screw it up. I need the Moroccan. <laughs> I almost put yellow on first. I'm good at life. This is why I say it, red, orange, yellow. See, I had just done it in my head and I was like, nope, that's the wrong color. Okay, so we're using Morocco as our orange. Ooh, that's a lot. Ooh, ooh. Don't mind me, just over here making a mess. Oh, yep, that is perfect. That is perfect. Perfect. And we're gonna overlap the red down here um, at the bottom. And I'm going just right up to my brow, because why not? All right, I'm going to dust that off a little bit and just blend the two together. Okay, we've got red, we've got orange. Oakley Doakley. We're gonna take a pause because I did get a cool new thing and I forgot to open it, so time out. Okay, so this thing I got on um, Amazon, it's called Color Cleaner. I totally forgot about it. So like when you have a dirty brush, you just like rub it in here and it just grabs all the pigment out. So it's like for changing your brushes in between use. Okay, so moving on. Now that we've done red and orange, we're going to grab the pineapple pigment and we're gonna get our yellow on. I'm just dipping it into the container and then tapping off the excess. Okay, I'm gonna brush off the excess on my, what is this thing called again? Color cleaner. I should just make a list of like my favorite things on Amazon. I think people can do that so that you all can see the craziness that's up here and, and partake in the random things I like to buy. I think this was like, I don't know, three or five dollars or something. It comes with two different, um, it comes with like a replacement sponge thing too. I mean, amazing. Okay. Just making a mess. Okay. okay, um, now, red, orange, yellow, green. Okay, see, I told you. Um, I am going to attempt to open this forest pigment without making a giant mess. Good luck. <sighs> Got the hang of it. I was as I scared. Okay. So now we're going to grab a um, same fluffy brush. It's mildly clean. And we're going to tap into the forest pigment. Now again with these pigments, if you're interested in them, uh, the company is getting rid of them for some reason. So they've been quote unquote delisted. So what that means is once they're gone, they're gone. I should start from the other side just so that I do, yeah. JK. We're going to start and come this way. Just so I have a better chance of making it look kind of like the other one. Okay, so just kidding. I'm jumping to the purple. Changing my mind. Oh, but the pigments are delisted. So the stock on them that's left, that's what's left. Once they're gone, they're gone. And I think their pigments are 12, $12.90 maybe? Um, but they're amazing. You can, if you're so bold, you can use them at, on your lips. You can use them as nail polish. Like you can do all sorts of cool things with these pigments because they're literally just color pigment. Like they're awesome. They're super pigmented because they're pigments. Um, 
but just really beautiful colors. I was never able to snag the color Cosmic that they had come out with. So yeah, so they come out with this new color like right when I start. It sells out like crazy, like immediately. And then they delist them all. It's rude. It's rude, I tell you, rude. So I'm a little bummed because I did really want Cosmic. It was like this really cool, like iridescent, like, um, like white but iridescent. So I'm just packing on this beautiful purple color. I mean, I think I'm close to the same distance as I did on the other, whatever. Okay, now Baloo. Um, sorry, my cute little neighbor. Um, oh no, I broke it. Well, now how am I gonna get it off? Sons of monkeys. Just like that, okay. Um, Ray and Mary, they're so cute. They're they're a little retired retired couple and Ray's already out mowing, he's so cute. He's got this electric lawnmower that doesn't make any noise, it's amazing. They have a beautiful, beautiful home and yard. Um, Mary, well, they both love to uh, garden, so they always, every year, they have this amazing, garden they always share their carrots with my carrot monsters um mary learned that the boys love carrots so to get them to stop harassing her and be nice to her she would bring them carrots well then that turned into anytime they see mary they both go bonkers barking at her um so that she brings them a carrot they're so rude but anyway they're so sweet so ray's out there working already Cause it's gonna be hot today, I think. From what I've heard. Okay, now we're gonna go in with that forest color. Oh yeah, that's the green I've been missing all month. At least I got it right before the end of Pride Month so I could do a Pride Pride look look using only pharmacy. Maybe I won't use um, glitter so that this can just be a pharmacy look, finally. I'll do that. So then, um, when you're done doing your eye look, or at least on top, you just grab your powder brush, you brush away that excess powder, and you've got a perfectly drawn in between the lines look. Now, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do uh, for, this is insane, for my eyeliner. Since I can't decide, I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. And we'll do those quickly. I'm gonna be really careful around this area because I don't want to brush away all my beautiful work. So I haven't decided because I have an amazing blue, clearly, but I don't have like a, a gold. Maybe I will try something crazy. Okay, so I'm going to use the Express Eyeliner Metallic Sapphire on my blue, green, purple side, and we're just going to go on top, why not? Here, let me do it so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'll grab the gold um, liquid eyeliner. Let's see if we can do something with this. Um, I always take a clean one of these brushes and brush off the tops of my lashes when I do liquid because I tend to get a little bit on my lashes and then when I go to put my mascara on, it doesn't work very well. So that's what I do there. Now I'm gonna grab my Zen mascara because it's my fave. I'm gonna put a coat of that on. This looks so crazy. Because I'm gonna get smoky on this side and I couldn't get smoky on this side. Do I have anything that could create that kind of a look? Let me let me try. I've got mascara down and I need to dry. Okay, I'll do my lips first and then I'll come back. I'm going to try and put the Morocco, the orange down here to make the bottom a little bit more smoky. Who are you? This is brave. Okay, so I'm grabbing the um Matte Liquid Lipstick in Brave, a nice neutral color on me. Okay. Now, let me find the brush, there it is, okay. So I'm just going to grab this M431. This is the um, Precision Pencil Crease Brush, but it's small and pointed. So I like it for the under eye. Under eye. I like it for the under eye. <laughs> for the under eye. So I'm gonna grab that Morocco, that orange pigment, and I'm just going to try and smoke out this under eye a bit more. Because with my um, metallic sapphire eyeliner, I was able to smoke out this side. I felt like this side's just like lacking. That's better. That's better already. Okay, I'm gonna try and do my waterline with this. Much better. I like that look better. Okay. All right, friends. Oh, I forgot. Um, we'll bit, top it off with a little bit of highlighter and I'm going to do the um, orange one. Just the tops of those cheekbones above your blush, down the center of the nose. Cupid's bow. We're gonna get crazy and do the tops of the eyebrows today. Okay, now, thank you so much for joining me doing this fun pride look. Um, I'll maybe get creative and do something a little bit different for a pride look tomorrow, because that's the last day of June. Don't forget, like and share this video, comment shared on it, and I'll enter in the drawing for the three-in-one face palette and the long last creamy eyeshadow in uh, pink glow so thanks for hanging out with me today um i hope you have a wonderful monday be kind to yourself be kind to others and we'll see you next time bye